I've got a 10 by 16 portable storage building. I'm gonna have it moved from Rogers out to my house. I'm headed over that storage shed right now. I'm gonna put some extra bracing in there to hold it together during the move. Don't want anything to happen to it. Well, here's that shed that needs moved. I brought a few two by fours and some uh, power tools. Like I said, I want to try to make this thing a little more sturdy for the move. It's only 97 degrees out here, but boy, is it hot in there. When I talked to that shed mover a few weeks ago, he suggested putting some bracing from the front and the back wall down to the floor just to support the short walls in case he's got to grab a hold of it with his mule to move, maneuver it through my yard. I think this is what he was talking about. If not, I'll redo it when he gets here. But now, I need to head to Missouri to get some more chicken feed. I put crumbles in there for the chickens and they quit eating the egg pellets. Everybody's eating the crumbles. Gotta go get more crumbles. Well, we're at the feed store. I'd recommend uh, shopping at this place if it's not too far out of your way. Egan Supply got friendly people, good service. They'll even load it up for you. In here in the hoop coop, I have three broody hens. They're all whiting true blues. Two are black and one is white, or may maybe you call her a splash. And as you can imagine, they're not the friendliest gals whenever they're broody. Ouch, 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 ouch. Well, she's sitting on at least one egg. I think this white one, she's getting used to me reaching under her. And there's two eggs under there. Guess I should have grabbed that egg out. And I don't know about this one. She's looking pretty mean. Ouch. 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 Man. Yep. Three's all she's got. You let me back in there. All right. She's only sitting on one. Looks like something's been burrowing under the uh, back side of the hoop coop here. Something digging in. Must be a mouse. Maybe a snake. So I think I need to get a head count on how many chickens I actually have. Well, I had three hens sitting on the nest box up there and a rooster and two other hens outside of the hoop coop. So I got another rooster and four more hens right here pecking at something. Got a few of the new hens, new poults, sitting over here in the shade. Thank you, Mr. Red. Well, thank you, Mr. Red. I can always count on you. Chickens are starting to gather up. They're wanting some scratch. Nobody uh, in there. Mm. 
nobody in there. There's a young one. Whoops. Well, there was a young one way over there. Something has taken out one of my chickens. That's the uh, first loss I've suffered in a while. Got to be careful where you step now. You might just step on a chicken. Got a few more in here. Got another broody hen. This is uh, my oldest, one of my oldest hens. She goes broody every year. She just went broody a little bit later this year than she normally does. Hey, she's sitting on three eggs. Put them right over here for now. There's uh, four more. All right, y'all let me out of here. You got me cornered. All right, let's hurry up and count those guys. Mm, no, nah, it ain't happening. I'm probably breaking some kind of law by how many chicks I have. I think about the only way I'm going to get a good head count is come out here after they go to bed. Count how many is in each chicken run, chicken coop. Well, there's a hoop coop up there. I know they sure are going through a lot of food and water every day. Well, go ahead and leave a comment down below on how many chickens you think I have. I'll come out here in the next few days and uh, I'll get a head count once they're all up on roost. Well, I appreciate y'all watching this afternoon. And I'll catch you next time here at Diddle Do Homestead. Have a good evening, everybody.